hey guys welcome back to another video on this video i'll tell you guys in fact i'll show you guys how to set up a chart on meta trader 5 so here's my chart which i set up that's a us 30 for next week predictions and also to, to do my market analysis so i'll do that for pound australian dollar so as you can see i did the first chart but i want to do it afresh so that i can show you guys how i do my setup for analysis so i'll go to the market watch on the market watch i'll select pound australian dollar i'll click chart window as you can see but i don't like the chart this way because i think it's so let's say funny and you know i want it to be in my own style so i created a a new template which is called simple makia fx which is all simple actually it's, it's pretty much easy i just don't want to use the black and white or the green and red i decide to use blue for the bullish candles black for the bearish candles now as you can see we have two emas on the chart that is like the moving average actually i'm using the actually for the moving average i'm using the 14 eme and i'm also using the 8 eme so those are the two moving average which i'm using on this chart now with that said i want us to go straight into it how do we do our daily setup for the forex market as you can see i'll just zoom back a little bit and i'll start putting my parameters i'll put my resistance line supply zone demand zone also the trend lines and other things which i have to put on my chart so here's what i'm gonna do first of all we notice one thing in these two places we have we have the, like the market is coming down and we're having a lot of buys at, at, at this area so a lot of buyers are at this area so it pushes the market to go up meaning that this area it's a demand zone so i'll come to my rectangle tool and i'll draw it around here sorry let me make it a little bit yeah something like this so this is a demand zone that is where we are getting buys and a lot of buyers are coming into the market and pushing the market upward then with that said we also have a little supply zone around here but let me start by drawing a line first somewhere around here yeah like that then i'll draw the supply zone so at this place we're having people selling So we have the supply zone we have the demand zone on a daily time frame now as we can see the market is going downwards the market is going downward but now it's more of in a sideways movement but we're expecting we're expecting buys that means like because it has hit this zone we are expecting buys from this zone to this zone according to our prediction but this is the analysis on the daily time frame but now let's try to draw the trend lines so i'll just go and click my trend line tool and i'll start from here and i'll draw draw and I'll draw I can draw to here but okay let me start from another point I'll start from here and I'll draw to this point that is my trend line for the market so as you can see it's still in a downward we but we're expecting 
a move from this place to this supply zone so i like to put the name on it this is the supply zone this is the demand zone supply zone the parameters let's reduce the size to 18 something like this so we have the supply zone here and here we have the demand zone So you can put it on your chart, but it's not necessary. It's just for annotation. Now, this is a daily analysis. Now let's go to the four hours analysis. For the four hours analysis, I'll use a different chart. So I'll go to this is the daily. I'll go to the four hours. It's almost the same thing here on the, on the four hours. Now on the four hours, we are seeing something quite different. Let's increase the size. We are seeing a downward trend. beautiful downward trend and we are seeing some resistance zone which are like okay this is a supply zone that became a resistance zone now this is the last support zone now this is the analysis on the four time frame we know what's going on right now the market will come up here but the issue is that we are still in a downward trend so we don't know what's going to happen in the market but let's just wait and see what how this candle will close if this candle if we have a strong bullish candle at this point it means the market is going up it means it may actually break this demand zone it may actually break this resistance zone and go up to the other side so let's see what's going to happen at this point So we're, we're going to wait for the next candle to see what's going to happen. If it goes up, it means it's going to go up. But if it goes down, if it, it becomes a bearish candle, it means the market's going to fall down and it's going to keep falling down to a very, very good position. Let's say around, it will fall down and I, I think it will break the weekly, you see. And it may come down to this point. It may break the weekly and come down to this point. So it's good for you to do the analysis not only on the daily time frame, but you can do it on the daily, monthly, and weekly time frame. But it's better for you to start on the daily time frame, the four hours, the weekly, so that you get a, the picture of the market.